This code sample includes the definition for the interface math operation. When having an interface that includes the definition for one function only, we can avoid the uh, creation of a, an anonymous inner class that implements the interface just for the sake of passing over uh, some sort of functionality to another part of the program and write, write a lambda expression instead. Here in this code sample, when I write this lambda expression, an expression that describes a function, and when I try to assign this lambda expression to the addition variable, a variable its type is math operation, an interface with one function only, Indirectly, you can imagine that there is a, a new object instantiated from an anonymous inner class that implements this interface and the reference for that object is assigned to this variable. And that object, its reference is assigned to addition, is an object that instantiated from a class, an anonymous inner class that implements math operation, an anonymous inner class that includes an implementation for this uh, abstract method, an implementation which is exactly according to this lambda expression. So actually the lambda expression just describes the, the way the function should be implemented. So later, when I type addition.execute, I actually invoke that function that was implemented in according to this lambda expression. Now, if we want, we can pass over the reference for a math operation object. Here, this line is very similar to this one, just that here, here, subtraction is assigned with a reference for a new object instantiated from a class, anonymous inner class, that implements math operation, where the implementation for uh, execute is in according to this lambda expression. So, here in this code sample, I actually, over here, pass over to the function calculate as the third argument a reference for a math operation object uh, that was instantiated from an anonymous inner class that implements math operation and includes an, an implementation for execute in according to this lambda expression and here we get an indirect invocation of execute. Let's execute this code sample and see the output. Just as expected.